you're just tuning in, we're here with the 2009 winners from the Student Design Competition, Design to an Opportunity. I'd like to welcome our first guest today, Michael Turnbull. So Michael, tell me a little bit about the design. What was the thought process behind it? Um, we wanted to do something that was that you could actually see on the shelf. We wanted to do something that customer would open up and say, hey, this is nice. Like We wanted the opening of the product to be part of the purchase. Okay, okay. So tell me, how does the how is it functional in that way? How does it open? How can you get the product out? Well, when you see the box, as I, I All right, here is our winning laptop container. It's a tuck top with a lock tab and a one, two, three box. When you open the box, you see that we have two components inside. When you slide them out together, you'll notice that the laptop is right on top. You can easily lift the laptop box container part off of the accessory part. The accessory part has enough strength in it from all the folding flaps to support the laptop in the middle and keep the accessories from sliding. Luckily now that the laptop is, is safe, you could just see, simply open it up like this and it completely folds down for you. And that's it. You're ready to surf the web. So in the, the manufacturing process, um, is this something that would be easy to produce? Easier than the original design? How does that work? Well, with the manufacturing process, we eliminated the shipper. We wanted to make sure our out, outer casing box was the shipper. So it looked good and it didn't need any extra packaging to for the distribu oh, distribution. Wow. Um, what we also don't have to do is manufacture the expanded polystyrene. Right. We don't have to have it shipped into us. We can just make everything out of corrugated in one factory. So it's sourced from one place, it's built in one place, and it's shipped out from one place instead of getting other items and materials in, mm -hmm. waiting for that, the cost associated with that, plus the carbon emissions, all of that is taken into consideration. Exactly. Well, that's great. Well, I'd like to thank Michael for coming on the show today to tell us a little bit about this redesign for DNA computers. And I'd also like to welcome another team member onto the show. Her name is Pamela. Pamela? A little bit about what drove the redesign process. Sure. Um, one of the main criteria of this competition was sustainability. So what we did was we took a material that's 100% recyclable and we took out all the polystyrene, all the plastic as Michael had mentioned, mm -hmm. and um, we just used corrugated. So the, any, everything from the, the shipper, the tray, and anything that will hold the accessories together so it doesn't shift around um, stays put, all out of corrugated. Um, there's minimum adhesive, there's only one line of adhesive used, and that was on the manufacturer's joint. So that also reduces the contamination in the recycling stream with the with adhesive. Last but not least, I'd like to welcome Neil onto the show. He's another designer for the redesign uh, DNA computers. Neil, welcome onto the show. A lot of this design was um, about sustainability, which seems to be a big buzzword these days. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you wanted to work around the environmental aspect of this? Well. Uh... You know, it's like Pam was saying, a lot of the design the design leads to the sustainability in that there's minimal waste. We uh, try to incorporate as little glue as possible into the, into the manufacture of the product. And, uh, you know, we really felt that, you know, corrugated board is really what leads to the sustainability of this. Absolutely. It's a fully uh, recyclable material and, uh, you know, it's also widely available in recycled formats, so it's a it's a material that is actually recycled. There are a lot of recyclable materials, but corrugated board actually is recycled, and high you know we have a high content of recycled board that we use in this in this package. So we really feel like the material and the design is what drives the sustainability of this. And it's a social responsibility for everyone as well to be able to do this. Um, you know, packaging can get a lot of grief from people, and you want to be able to make sure that you're you're showing people that you are being responsible with the choices that you're making, such as corrugated board. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Great. Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming on the show today. I wish you the best of luck at the ICPF Student Design Competition on thank February twenty fourth. Thank you. Thanks. Good night. Okay.